Welcome back to the Roadshow. This morning in the buzz, some changes could be coming to a street near you. Federal officials have proposed that local governments need to replace all of their street signs in an effort to improve road safety. Now, it's kind of a controversial plan, but the regulations by the Federal Highway Administration would call for bigger fonts. Of course, that means bigger letters on the signs, new reflective letters so that you can see them at night, and a mix of capital and lowercase lettering, which we've never seen on street signs, I don't think. And they're saying it would make the signs easier to read. Well, here's the problem. It's an unfunded mandate, so cities and towns will be footing the entire bill. Take a look. It's going to have a huge cost on many other cities and towns. We've been doing it as requests have come through, uh, slowly changing as we can in the most uh, populated areas heading out towards uh, the western part. I think it's a very good thing. I think it's something that should happen. It makes driving easier. I don't think there's any need for it. If you can't read the street signs the way they are, what do they need to be bigger for? All right, so of course the question is, is this really a necessary expense for cities and towns? I mean, what do you think, Venus? Quite honestly, I think that we have bigger issues with our streets, like potholes and yeah, right? you know, yeah. broken sidewalks that we should be spending our money on. You know, you know yeah. what I don't understand is, how the heck are you going to be able to read a sign that's upper and lowercase letters if, you, if they say you can't read the signs that are... Well, in say, all in uppercase right now. Well, they, it's the camelback, and they say that that is easier to read, like mm -hmm. even on the computer yeah. and whatnot. Yeah. So I'm going to take kind of the opposite view here, and, and I'm going to tell you for a couple of reasons why I think we honestly do need it. First of all, I'm married to a firefighter, so somebody in public service who responds to emergencies yeah. all the time. And honestly, I think anything that's going to make it easier, especially for somebody like that to do their job, I am all for it. Right now, we have a problem where we don't even have street signs right. at some street corners. So I think that in itself, I mean, we, we need street signs at every single corner. Not to mention, and I'm going to put this plug in, numbers should be clear on your house. That is a huge problem sure, as well. Yeah. We need to especially do that. Especially for responders to Absolutely. emergencies. Absolutely. The other thing is, from doing my job as a street reporter, some of the photographers would tease me, they call me eagle eye, because when we'd be looking for streets at night before we had GPSs, uh, you know, I'd be like, go on like this. Oh, I see it, Smith Street. And they'd be like, how do you see that? But again, I have good eyesight. Not everybody has great eyesight. And it's very tough, especially at night, to read these signs. And there is a difference if you make the font bigger, because I've seen them in Cranston, right. where they have put the bigger and fonts. And they're nice. I think, if, I think if there's one that's not existent, yeah. or if they've been graffitied on or something, and they need to be replaced, then move to the other ones. But to just do a blanket sweep, I don't know. I think that's expensive. All right. I, I can kind of catch you on that. I, I wish they would put a, an estimated cost on this. I haven't heard what they're right. thinking it's going to cost. Yeah, what about each city and town. Well, Cranston's going to be busy then because they got all those street, uh, stop signs they got to take down. I know they got all the illegal <laughs> ones right. they're going to move, right? put That's up right. new street signs. I'm so. all for I'm all for being able to see uh, see better, you yeah. know, the signs and, and whatnot. But you know, I agree with what you said initially, Venus, is that I think there are bigger problems from you know as a whole, and right. I think street signs should be about 11th on the list of 10 things to do. But having said that, if this is something that creates jobs hey, and puts people back to work, mm -hmm. uh, replacing the signs all across the country and on the highway, I assume they're going to do the highway signs too. I mean, who knows how far it would go. You know, I'm all for, uh, you know, re-energizing the economy, but... Aren't there upper the and lowercase on the highway? I think there is, right? Highway signs? I'm thinking of Warwick. Right? Yeah, that's yeah. spelled upper and lowercase. I'm thinking on the street. I'm thinking on the street signs. No, I know, but but if those are upper and lowercase, yeah, and you can, if they're saying you can barely read them now and uh -huh. they need to be bigger, what the heck? Then make them all uppercase and bigger. No, I think she's right about the upper and lowercase mix, bigger font. Right. You can read it easier. Oh. I challenge you to a read off. We'll figure it out if we think Upper it's easier. Upper creates a block. It creates a square block, so it's harder for the eye to read. See, Venus knows. I know. And Courtney knows that people are talking about it this morning on the live two, blog. Two against one. Girls yeah. win. Sorry, girls, girls win. win. I think we should test the upper and lowercase with our prompter, because those are all uppercase, right? So maybe we should see yeah. if it works out for us. So we'll start it here on the road show. We have a lot of comments this morning, a mixed bag. Lots of folks are for it. Some aren't, and they have some interesting tips on what they could do with the sign. So we'll start on the blog on foxprovidence.com. This one is from Tripp. He said, I think replacing missing signs with the new style is a great idea because we have way too many missing street signs, but replacing perfectly good signs with new ones with a different font is not something I would support. And Smokey Wolf says, I think it should be changed because we have a lot of elderly here in Rhode Island and it would be helpful to them. And even driving at night, you can actually see what street you're looking for. Here's the poll right underneath the live blog. Do you think all street signs should be replaced? Choices are A, definitely, it'll make driving easier, or B, no, it's not needed and is too costly. 
we have like 10 comments or so, so far, which is great to see uh, some viewers weighing in here on our Facebook page. And Donna Stanley says, some signs definitely need replacing, but not all of them. And this one's from Wendy Curtis. You might remember her from In Our Kitchen not too long ago. She says, states are hard-pressed to keep the roads in good shape, and we haven't even gotten to pothole season as it is. This is a sign of wasteful government spending. And then we also have this one from Alan Burt. He says it's probably cheaper to paint the names of the roads on the street like they have on 95 and 195. He says California does it also. They can try that. So if you uh, have a different opinion or you're in support of it, you can uh, talk to us now on the live blog on foxprovidence.com. But I'll be back with those web poll answers in about 30 minutes. For now, into the kitchen.